Hello my sweet stitchers and welcome back to Candy Coated Cross Stitch. Today we're stitching on a, um, a shamrock just in time for St. Patrick's Day to celebrate the luck of the Irish and the love of the Irish. I've got two patterns here. Whoops, bumped the camera. I've got two patterns here. We've got the one I'm working on now, which is going to be the Pride Shamrock. Because everybody is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. And the other pattern I have, which I'm not working on right now, is the traditional shamrock. So we'll have one with a rainbow background and one without. And these patterns are available in my Gumroad store. So... You can take a look there. I'll put the link in the chat box. Today we're going to be we're going to be talking about reframing. So it's a mindset thing here today, talking about reframing and why reframing is important while we do a little bit of stitching. So I was watching the YouTubes the other day and I saw a creator talking about someone who left a negative comment on their content. And from just this one negative comment, they spiraled completely out of control into deep depression. Which is completely understandable. In a, in a perfect world, people would not be horrible monsters to each other. Unfortunately, that is not the world that we live in, as much as I would like it to be, and I'm sure as much as you would like it to be. As a YouTuber, being out here, putting yourself out, you definitely are open to a lot of hate. Uh, can't lie. I've seen my share of it. Reality is, though, everybody is open to a whole lot of hate. And if you don't learn how to deal with it, you're going to be in a tough spot. And I'm not saying that the hate is right, because it's not. It's absolutely not right. Nobody should be treating you poorly once again the reality is that it happens and it it is useful to us if you want to to have as many tools in your arsenal to defend yourself as you can and one of these is reframing and i'll give you an example of how it works so let's let's talk about this creator and the person who put a negative comment on their their content saying that that's my rabbit in the background yes i have a a lion-headed bunny and he wants to be in these videos as well as you can see i gotta turn this over i can't see where i'm going um i usually turn this and i'll try to keep it steady here for the camera i try not to turn it it's a bit of a it's a bit of a learning curve I'm getting better at my setup but it's still a bit of a learning curve so you put out a post and then someone writes you know your work is complete garbage this is just the fakest thing I've ever seen or whatever and you look at that and you feel you feel attacked and you are being attacked that that is true that is absolutely true here's the thing though we tend to put a lot of belief in what other people tell us and there are many reasons this happens um starting with with childhood if you didn't believe your parents when they told you something you most likely got hurt if they told you the stove was hot and not to touch it and you didn't believe them or didn't listen, you touched the stove, you got burned. 
all of this is reinforcing the idea that you should believe what other people say to you and about you. As we grow up, though, we need to learn that we don't have to believe what other people say. And we kind of don't learn that skill. You have to have a really good education system that teaches critical thinking. Otherwise, you're going to not learn that skill. And I didn't really learn that skill. It took me a long time in my adult life looking at a lot of personal development stuff to to get an idea of this skill. And one of the tools you can use is reframing. And reframing is changing the story that you're telling yourself to look at it from a different angle. It's just like how when you frame one of your pieces, it can look really great in a blue frame, but absolutely crappy in a pink frame. Depends on the colors and everything inside. So here's the thing. You get a post that says, hey, I think your content is super low quality. And you think to yourself, that person has written because... I've done something they don't like. And that's that's the bare minimum. I've done something they don't like. You can go much deeper with this and tell yourself, I produce shitty content. Um, this person wrote because I'm whatever long list of nasty things that you have on play on repeat in your mind. And a lot of us do, and a lot of us have to work to get rid of that recording. And here's one of the tools for you to do that. Don't make it, shift the focus. So instead of focusing the camera of this action on yourself, they said this because I don't produce good content. Focus it on them. They said this because, and let's go with, with something that's rather neutral. They said this because they don't know how to communicate a criticism in a constructive manner. Put the focus on them. Reframe it so it's them. And the more graphic the hate you see, you get, uh, the stronger you can reframe it. If they write on your content or if somebody in real life says to you, you're ugly. They didn't say you're ugly because they don't like the way you look. They said you're ugly because they're an asshole. Or they don't process beauty properly or any number of reasons because you don't know why they said what they said. They could have said what they said because they're having a bad day and they're looking for a target to take it out on and you were there. You have no idea why they're saying what they say. I'm not saying ignore all feedback, but if it's not constructive, why invest in it? Why why take it to yourself? Why take this criticism and say, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb, I suck, or whatever. Whoops, hands are sliding down. Sorry about that. I'm dumb, I suck, or whatever else. That's on them. When somebody says something to you, that is a demonstration of them, not a demonstration of you or who you are as a person. And I'm facing things like this, too. In real life, somebody's out there spreading some lies about my small business. And they're lies. They're not true. 
And I could tell myself some story like they're telling lies because I'm a bad person and I deserve to have everything fail. And that's nuts. I'm not a bad person and I deserve nothing but success. Just like you, you deserve nothing but success. Believe me. You work hard, you deserve success. You work smart, you deserve success. You don't have to work hard. Everyone deserves success. So, yeah, I'm concerned about the lies and I have to deal with them. I have to decide whether or not I'm going to do damage control or what exactly it is that I'm going to do. But I've taken away the effect of beating myself up about these lies. I know they're not true. The people who are important to me know that they're not true. So it's not because of me. There's a reason they're telling these lies. I don't know what it is. It could be that they believe it. Maybe they had someone who's vested in making my life miserable tell them some stuff and they believe it and they didn't check in with me and say, hey, I heard this. Is, is this true? Can you comment on this? Which would have been the adult thing to do. And considering that I used to respect this person, now used to, I'm disappointed that they, they didn't ask me first before they started repeating information they were unsure about. But once again, taking this, refocusing the camera onto them, it's not about me. The reason they're doing this is about them. It's not about me. And so instead of having to overcome the obstacle of being upset because I'm a bad person or some other nonsense, I can simply focus on what I'm going to do about the misinformation. So it becomes less of a monster and more of a relief for me. And of course, I, and of course, I hope I, I get it resolved rather soon or just ultimately, I'm probably not going to say anything at all and just keep living my life and running my business as I run it. Because anyone who spends any amount of time with me will see that the lies that are being told are not true. So a little bit of insight into my application of my own process. And I hope that this is a bit of mindset advice that helps you too. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. Check out my pattern on Gumrope. And I will see you next time on Candy Coated Cross Stitch.